how to identify the McDonnell Douglas F4 Phantom. The Phantom entered service in 1960 and 5200 of them were built and was used with air forces and navies around the world and today it is still in use with several air forces. This Mark 2.2 fighter is a large aircraft and not, not too difficult to identify. It is certainly distinctive. Current users of the F-4 include South Korea, Japan, Greece, Iran and Turkey. Three interesting points about the F-4 Phantom. 5,195 were built, making it the most numerous US supersonic jet ever built. 528 F-4 Phantoms were lost in the Vietnam War, but these losses were not solely due to combat. The Phantom was the only jet to be flown by both the United States Navy Blue Angels and the United States Air Force. Thunderbirds flight demonstration and aerobatic teams. Specifications for the F4 and this is for the F4E. Length 63 feet or 19.2 meters. Wingspan 38 feet 5 inches or 11.7 meters. Height 16 feet 5 inches or 5 meters. Maximum takeoff weight 61,795 pounds or 28,030 kilograms. Maximum speed 1,473 miles per hour or 2,370 ki kilometers an hour at 40,000 feet or 12,000 meters. Maximum speed Mark 2.23. Ferry range 1,677 miles or 2,699 kilometers. Surface ceiling 60,000 feet or 18,000 meters. Now the E model has a 20 millimeter Vulcan cannon mounted internally under the nose with 640 rounds, up to 18,650 pounds or 8,480 kgs of weapons can be carried. Missiles include, but are not limited to, Sidewinder, Python, Sparrow, Amram, Harm, Shrike, Skyflash, and in addition to the missiles, they are, can carry assorted rockets and bombs. So the Phantom has low mounted wings, which are swept back, and semi delta with square tips, as you can see in that green oval. And these wings have a positive slant, as you can see with that red oval there. And there's a sawtooth in the leading edges of the main wings, as you can see with that little yellow circle. This plane has two engines inside the body. It has rectangular air intakes alongside the body and below the cockpit. And they extend forward of the wings, as you can see with that yellow oval there. Looking at the rear, we can see this aircraft has twin exhausts mounted close together beneath a large overhanging rear section and those twin exhausts here, you can see them in the yellow oval. The tail flats are mid-mounted on the body, delta shaped with a negative slant, that means they angle down. And this plane also has a wide back tapered fin with a square tip. In this shot here we get to see that overhanging tail section that extends far past the engine exhaust and this is a great shot here as far as identification purposes go and you can certainly see how far that tail section overhangs the exhaust there. This plane has a long fuselage with a pointed droopy nose as you can see in that yellow oval of the Egyptian Phantom and it also has a stepped twin seat tandem cockpit which you can see on the Phantom in the background belonging to the United States Air Force. This shot here is of two US Navy F-4s. Of course the US military no longer flies these aircraft. However, you'll notice here there is no chin mount for a gun underneath the noses of these aircraft that belong to the Navy. And here we have a nice little diagram of the F-4. And this is just a photo of an F-4 belonging to the United States Air Force, the F-4G, which is known as the Wild Weasel, which is used to take out radars and SAM sites, or was used. Okay, so thanks for watching, and I'll now leave you with the rest of the video clip that we started this episode with.